Dress, Blatson, being part of an art exhibit will wear a girl out, let me tell you. I'm glad I got a lot of runway practice as a fashion model. Hey, buddy, I have an idea. Let's go hit the dance club tonight and have a few drinks and get down to the dance music. That's the kind of break we could both use. Blatson, I want you to make a wish. But don't tell me what it is until we get to the dance club. But I will go ahead and tell you my wish. I wish I could stay young forever and live eternally. That's my wish, Blatson my dear, that's my wish. Let's go hit the club buddy. Let's go, let's go. Simple shimmer. My, good my, now, now, now. My, my. Now we really must do something with that outfit. Your father is making a very important speech and you would dare to wear that? It's not every day that a girl's father runs for governor. No, no. My, my, do you want the whole world to think we're nothing but a little tramp? Now march back into your room and put on something decent. If your father loses this election, it will be on your shoulders, little missy. And hurry. The chauffeur is waiting, you know he has a family too. A wife and kids. 
If we're late for your father's speech the chauffeur could get fired. And it would be all your fault if his kids go hungry and he ends up standing in the unemployment line. All because a certain little Miss Fancy Pants couldn't get dressed appropriately on time for the most important speech in her father's life. Audience to this week's edition of the Divine Humanity QD Drill with Dr. Hubert Slokowski. And here comes the good doctor now to enrich and enlighten us all this morning. <laughs> Hello, my dear children. It's Dr. Hubert Slokowski here with the Divine Humanity Cathedral. Remember, all of you are divine. That's why I've got to warn you about allowing your mind to be polluted and distorted and twisted by the filth that's on the airwaves, whether it's the radio, this crass, C-R-A-S-S radio, this opinion radio where, where ignorant idiots like this Uncle Frank character will call in with their, their subversive opinions and their distortions of reality. And then there's these horrible shows on, on C-R-Z-Y, this, this, this dreadful, dreadful news. It's so popular that it comes on every day, this heart's desire, where there's just one endless scandal, one affair, uh, out of wedlock marriage, that's just horrible, uh, dreadful promiscuity. It's just full of filth, and this wicked, wicked wall tells. It glorifies violence. It glorifies brutality. All of it is junk. It's all garbage. You should you turn off CLZY. Don't watch it, except for our wonderful program here, the Divine Humanity, Humanity Cathedral. I want you to be here for us. But for all this, this filth, this garbage that's out there, you should just turn the t TV off. And then this opinion radio, don't call into that thing. And then don't let your mind be brainwashed by these sick opinions of these people who call in to this opinion radio. You've got to guard your mind, children. Oh, my dear, lovely, wonderful children, I pray for your souls. This has been Dr. Hubert Zukowski at the Divine Humanity Church. And remember to send me your money this week. Send me your money. Thank you. And God bless. Goodbye. Da da da. Mm -hmm. da da da. Oh, Sharon. Oh, Sharon. Oh, Sharon. You just will love this new film strip slideshow that I've done. I've taken all of this, like, fabulous, fantastic commercial art, this, this mod art of the 60s, and I, like, did my own take on it. You know, I just, like, tinkered with it and did this and did that and put some music to it. So, here, watch this with me. It's going to be my new Blatson Art Show.
This is Ronson Kilroy and welcome to Flat Town's Channel 5 News. A quiet, peaceful neighborhood in Flat Town was today the scene of yet another attack by the Flat Town Strangler. This time the victim survived after being discovered quickly by arriving family members and she remains in stable condition at the nearby Murgatroyd Mercy Hospital in Murgatroyd. Family members who discovered her declined to be interviewed by Channel 5 News and the name of this surviving victim is being withheld at the request of family members. There have been five strangling victims so far, with this being the first to survive. Flat Town authorities requested the help of Murgatroyd's Lieutenant Skitters to help determine the identity of the unknown serial strangler but insufficient evidence has prevented an identification of the perpetrator thus far. Stay tuned for further details and other news Hi, after Chris, this commercial he's today break. today for a hot, fresh double, double, double. And don't forget to grab some ultra deluxe double, double, double fries. Drifties, for the ravenous little appetites in your family. Stop by whether Drifties or not today. She's in the weather or not. The eyes have it. Yes, the eyes of our weather watchers are always watching. Desire is brought to you by Vincini Ultra Deluxe Fried Chicken Coating, the zippy, crispy delight that will have everyone in your family begging for more. Available at a super deluxe grocery store near you. Get some today. Oh my dear sweet Millicent, I am hoping this relaxing ocean cruise will help you to regain your memory before we arrive at the island. I know you want that too, for all of your memories to come yes. flooding back. Yes. Yes, Roderick, I have to regain my memory. There's something tugging at my mind, something about the evil Cranson and a key, something about a key. It's terribly important and I hope it comes back to me soon, my darling. I have to know what that key means. Yes, yes, yes. Getting you back to the island will help you to regain all of your lost memories. It will all come back to you. Yes, 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 Roderick, I so want to regain all my memories. And I have to know what the key means, what it goes to, what it is for. The key. The key. The key. Hey, Susie. Bring me another piece of that Vincini Elfie the Love Fried Chicken. I enjoyed that. Brent, I think I'll take a drumstick this time. Thank you. about to go to high school dance, Miss Hempelsheimer warned me and cautioned me. Young men have filthy, dirty minds and are only after one thing, little lady. They care nothing for you, nor your dignity, and if you give up your precious virginity to one of them, they will be bragging about it to their friends before the dawn even breaks. I should certainly hope you think more of yourself than to be a fleeting source of pleasure for one of those womanizers. Think of the scandal it would bring to your honorable father if you gave in to one of them, and trust me, Missy, their minds only run on one thing when they're your age. And you, my little lady, barely more than a child yourself are scarcely capable of raising a child should the unthinkable occur. So, my dear, 
If you absolutely must prance about in a den of sin tonight, I trust you will keep your passions under restraint and let those wolves know in no uncertain terms to keep their filthy hands on. <laughs> near you. Anastas Bulimi's groundbreaking new animated feature for adults, that cocktail party. You'll never forget it. Bring a friend to the movies with you and you'll have plenty of things to talk about at your next cocktail party. Warning. No one will be admitted during the shocking bathtub tequila scene. Not recommended for persons with high blood pressure, anxiety, vertigo, or eczema. Just keep telling yourself it's only a cocktail party, it's only a cocktail party. Okay guests, there's plenty of booze to go around. Pick your poison and drink up, hell this thing can go all night, I don't give a damn. I'm having a martini myself to start the ball rolling. Have a blast people, have a blast. Hey there a sweet thing, you need a little rum to go with that coke. Where have you been all my life? I can think of some things we could do with that coke bottle sweet thing. Mind if I move in a little closer? My, my, you sly, smooth talking sexy guy. Of course you can move in closer, I'm a girl ready for some hot action and you look like the guy who can deliver the goods. Let's make some plans, stud, let's make some plans. Damn to hell, Carlotta, damn it to hell. Look at my ex-husband making moves on that shameless hussy. Next thing you know they'll both be headed to a bedroom somewhere. That's okay though, I'm not leaving this party until I get a man too. A real man, not a jerk like my ex. Come on girl, let's circulate and catch us both a big fish, Carlotta. Come on, let's move. going to be some party and you're going to try to talk to Ophelia Quint? Oh yeah, you know it. See that girl over there? I've had my eye on her for a minute now. Yeah, but she's a senator's daughter, man. Well, that means I ain't got to worry about her being a uh, psycho. <laughs> wow, dude, you're really going to talk to her. Yeah. There she is. <sighs> All right. Wish me luck. I wish you luck, dude. I wish you luck. What do you want? Go away. I don't date skateboarders. Oh, I'm just standing here reading a book. Come on now. A good book though. What you been up to? Well, this is really some party. I'm just so glad to get away from my nanny. I can scream. I hear you. Yeah. Uh, I've been just trying to 
figure out what I can do about all this stuff that's been going on in Murgatroyd nowadays. Wow. I always heard skateboarders are just totally drugged out all the time. Nah. Not me. I stay clean. You know, I experimented a little bit back in high school and stuff, but... You know, now that I'm about to graduate and everything, I just don't... I know I'm better than that, you know? Well, you are grown. I mean, you need to find you somebody that can really teach you the ropes around here. Hey, dude, dude, Rollo Antonetti over there, he's got some coke and some ecstasy. Let's go check it out. Nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> you have a good one, though. I'll at me later. So, um, what's your sign? Wow, I'm a Libra. You really did turn that down. Let's go get a drink. All right, Dad.